Hey everybody, so we need to talk about the Nashville Predators because this team that looked like it was done, season over, time to blow things up a few weeks ago is in the midst of a five game winning streak and is pulled into a playoff spot in the Central Division right now. So um, things have drastically changed for the Preds and that could not only have a big impact on things in the Central Division, but that could have a big impact on the league with the trade deadline coming up here in a couple of weeks. So before we fully get into it, I just ask that you please subscribe and hit that thumbs up if you haven't yet. It helps the channel an absolute ton and is greatly appreciated. But we need to get into it here talking about Nashville. So this was a team that really, really struggled in the first half of the season. Um, they did not look look good. Uh, it, it was a it was a mess down there for the Predators in in Nashville and. Oh, there was so much talk about them, you know, starting to trade pieces out, move, move guys out of there, try and, you know, get some assets back in return. And it seemed like it was everybody was was saying it's time to give up on this season and, and maybe start over there in Nashville. And all of a sudden they've gone on a five game win streak. They've gone seven and three in their last 10 games and they're now over 500 and they've pulled into fourth place in the central division which is the final playoff spot in the central they've passed chicago even they're tied in point same number of games played but by tiebreakers they're they've passed chicago they're basically tied with chicago right now um but they're in a playoff spot if the season ended this second as i'm recording this the nashville predators would have would make the playoffs so what what does that mean come trade deadline time now because there's been so much talk about these guys that the Predators were supposedly going to be selling off at the deadline. Tons of rumors about Ekholm, Forsberg, Arvidsson, maybe even Ellis, other pieces there possibly as well. There was so much talk about these guys that Nashville was going to be get, you know, trying to trade out and they were going to blow things up and, and make all these moves at the deadline and be one of the bigger sellers at the deadline this year. And now all of a sudden they're in a playoff spot and they're obviously not going to sell if they're in a playoff spot. They're going to try and make the playoffs. So um, this really shakes things up for the trade deadline coming up here April 12th. Now we are still a couple weeks away from the deadline and let's say Nashville's winning streak ends tonight and they then lose like four or five in a row and they fall back in the standings. We could go right back to talking about Nashville being the biggest seller again. But if this winning streak continues and if Nashville continues to hold in playoff contention, that could really change things at the deadline. The other thing that's really helped the Predators is that Chicago has not been good over the past few weeks. Uh, they are three and seven in their last 10 games and really, really struggling here. And they've fallen back, and now they're in fifth place. They're tied with Nashville at 37 points. And the Blackhawks, who at once earlier in the year had a great first half of the season, looked like they were firmly entrenched in that number four spot, has now allowed everyone else to catch up. And that's helped teams like Nashville, Dallas, even Columbus. Although Columbus is not playing right, right well right now and just dropped a couple to the Red Wings. So Columbus is falling back. Chicago is falling back. Nashville has taken advantage of that and moved up a couple spots. And now they're right in contention to make the postseason. So, again, this is kind of a fluid situation. It's not anything that we know for sure what's going to happen yet. Because, like I said, if they, if, they, if they lose tonight and break the winning streak and then lose another three or four in a row they're going to be right back down in the standings where they were and probably get passed by a couple teams again. So um, then they could sell. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's co something that's constantly changing with the standings here, but it's something to watch. Nashville is now a team to watch, which we were not saying about them earlier this year. They were a team that a lot of us, myself included, were kind of counting out. We were like, okay, Nashville's done. Uh, they've got talent, but it, obviously there's no chemistry. It's not working out. They're not winning games. Blow the team up at the deadline. Start making moves. You know, there was talk about them possibly firing their general manager and, and John Hines, the coach. And, um, you know, that may still happen if they end up missing the playoffs this year. It's still all possible. If they maybe this is just a good little stretch for them and they're going to completely fall apart again and drop back down and go to seventh in the division or something like that. It's all still possible. Um, 
But it's just interesting to me how they were a down and out team in a lot of our minds just three, four weeks ago. And now they've climbed into a position where they're actually in a playoff spot. And all of a sudden we're like, whoa, where did Nashville come from? And they have a legitimate shot of making the playoffs. Again, there's still a lot of games left. I don't know which direction it's going to go. They could they could just have a short little hot streak here in the middle of the year where they kind of pull themselves back up a little bit and then it's just going to fall apart again and they end up back down at the bottom. Or they could remain in playoff contention the entire rest of the season. They could possibly make the playoffs. They could maybe be a second half team and, and have a much better second half than they had first half and all of a sudden start competing with teams like Florida and maybe even Carolina. And all of a sudden you'd be like, whoa, you know, Nashville out of nowhere. But it all could happen. And we don't know which way it's going to go, but it's something to watch now, which Again, like I said, Nashville wasn't a team to watch for the first half of this season, and now they are, and they're making things interesting. And obviously, Chicago and Columbus struggling is really helping them out. Dallas still has games in hand over all of them. Um, Dallas has not played a whole lot yet. They've only played, I think, 31 games while these teams are up in the mid-30s. So Dallas could still pull themselves back into it here. If they win those games in hand, all of a sudden they could be passing teams in the standings. So the Central Division is going to be fun to watch. That fourth spot now is completely up for grabs between basically four teams. Dallas, Nashville, Chicago, and Columbus are all fighting for that fourth spot. It's completely up for grabs. The top three spots seem to be pretty well locked with Tampa, Carolina, and Florida. We just don't know which who's going to finish in what seed, but those are your top three teams. That fourth spot, we have no idea. Completely up for grabs for the rest of this season. Um... We'll see if any team's able to really go out there and grab it, but I haven't really seen a whole lot of consistency from Dallas. Columbus has been just a headache this year. I don't even want to get into the Blue Jackets. Nashville was awful at the start, but seems to be going on a bit of a run here. We'll see if they can keep it up. And Chicago had a great first half of the season, but now is dropping off. So those four teams are really all still in it, and the Predators are one of them, which has me thinking that they may not be the big sellers at the deadline that we were thinking they would be two weeks ago, because now they're in a playoff spot. And can you really justify selling when you're in a playoff spot and have a chance to go to the postseason and, and possibly, you know, make a run? I'm not saying I'm think. even if Nashville does make the playoffs, they're probably a first round exit, but it's the NHL playoffs. Anything can happen. So you, you don't want to give up on that opportunity because, hey, the we've seen before in the playoffs, some low seeds make some deep runs. It is possible. So... I don't know. It's going to be interesting to watch. And I think th that's the main thing here is that it's going to be interesting to watch, which the Central is getting more and more interesting as this year goes along. And Nashville, who really wasn't a team that anyone had been talking about all season long, other than how bad they have been, are now all of a sudden in a postseason spot and making things interesting there. So, um, just wanted to talk about them a, a little bit. Good on the Preds, pulling themselves back into it. They've been playing better recently. Like I said, five-game win streak, and uh, we'll see if it continues or not. This might just be a little good stretch in the middle of the season, and they tail off again, or they could end up being in the playoffs. We, ha we have no idea what's going to happen, but it's something to watch as the season goes along. So... I uh, just wanted to talk about them a little bit and uh, and you know talk about how interesting I think this central division is getting with the playoff races there and the teams involved. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store uh, donation link and channel memberships are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you guys soon.